Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I don't know how this is going to work out because uh, although it's early evening, it's extremely bright and sunny but the picture looks really, really shadowy and I do want to show you the colour of some um, products from Tom Ford but let's see how we get on. You know what my lighting is like, not good. Uh, I didn't want to delay any further in talking about the Tom Ford Summer Collection because it's been out here in the UK since the 27th of April. Um, you see a whole litter of stuff, that's really for comparison purposes. I have bought very modestly from this year's Summer Collection because although it's quite a large selection, a lot of the products are very similar to things we've seen before. Specifically, we've got a version of the Weekender, that big white compact with three strips, a strip of blusher, a strip of bronzer and a strip of highlighter. And notwithstanding the sales pitch um, from the not terribly well informed and rather unimpressive sales assistant in Harrods where I bought a couple of pieces that um, it was quite different from last year. It patently obviously isn't. Um, and then there are two smaller uh, palettes in kind of this size, a little bit bigger, with two strips, um, a bit like Bicoastal. If you bought Bicoastal last year, one of them's very similar to that uh, colour, a blush and a highlighter. The other one, which I was more tempted by, two highlighters, a kind of yellow gold and a whiter gold. But honestly, it was too similar to highlighting products I've already got so I didn't go for that. What I did do was buy two of the, um, are they called eye duos? I've never had them before. Yeah, cream and powder eye colour duo. Uh, there are three. I was expecting two. I was expecting, let's look at this one first, um, this one which is called Young Adonis because I've read about it. And I think the other one might call Sun Worship, something like that, which is a very goldy uh, coloured cream with glitter top, which I didn't end up getting. When I got there, I discovered there was a third, which I hadn't actually read about, uh, called Paradiso, uh, which I love. Come to that in a minute. Um, so why haven't I bought these before? Basically, I think they're pretty overpriced if you don't love both of the products. Um, what you're getting is a cream shadow in the bottom, uh, quite a decent size. I'm not sure if they tell you how much product you get, but more akin to the old cream shadows that came in these um, larger uh, 0.21 ounce 6 gram pots originally. Uh, last year, if you'll recall, they did much smaller pots. Um, for pretty much the same price, five millilitres, significantly smaller. I don't have a problem with that because, as you'll see, um, even though I use these quite often, I've not made much impression on ones that I've had for years and years, and they do last, so it's a heck of a lot of product. Um, what I don't like really as much about these releases from last year is, whilst they look extremely pretty in the posh, I mean, look at that gorgeous one there with all that... Um, micro luster not really glitter even that was called sphinx by the way um when applied i mean they're not terrible but they're a lot more watery um this lighting is going to be a problem isn't it um we'll do our best um than the original creams so they were not a big success for me um now i knew uh, i should also say that then the top of the shadow is a glitter and I'm not a fan of the Tom Ford glitters really. Uh, I did talk about one which I am a fan of in the Solar Exposure palette that I showed you the other day in my favourites video but generally I hardly use them. So um, these come in at £48 a, a trot and so given I've got a lot of creams I haven't been tempted up till now but I had heard that uh, Young Adonis the cream colour was very similar to Platinum, the original Platinum, uh, which I have here, 01. Had it for a couple of years, worn it a lot, and I've still got a lot of product left. Uh, and if we look at them together, they do look pretty similar, um, given the age difference. I haven't tried them side by side. I have worn uh, New Young Adonis. There you can see beautiful shimmer depth um, to the cream 
and good substance to the cream. And here's the original. You can see um, even more depth to this one. This is where they've definitely kind of watered down. I think this one is a slightly lighter. Um, is it warmer? I don't know. It's just a slightly different tone. I don't know if you're getting that. But they're quite similar on the eyes, I have to say. And they're both beautiful. Um, and, uh, you know, I still have a slight preference for the oldest formula. But this new one is a pretty darn good. So I have worn that a couple of times, believe it or not. And that's going to last forever. In terms of the glitter on uh, Young Adonis, I pulled out my palettes. And this one is Titanium Smoke, which I hardly ever use, which seemed to me to have the most similar glitter. Although this one's definitely looking a bit darker. To be honest, this is not as gritty as some of the glitters. You just, you're supposed to put it over, but let's just show it by the side. Let's have a look at Titanium Smoke. Yeah, definitely a bit more yellowy. But they're quite similar. So if you've got titanium smoke, which isn't a palette I use a lot, partly because it's got two glitters in. I'm not keen on one, let alone two. Um, a bit similar to the Younger Donis glitter. Now, so I do like that. Then I got terribly excited when I saw Paradiso because if you've listened to me wish her on before, my all-time favourite cream eyeshadow, bar none from anyone, is Tom Ford's Pink Haze from 2012. I think this might have been a 2013 version. Now look, this is a favourite. I've worn it a lot and look how much product I've still got and it's still usable. It's getting a bit drier, but in terms of wearing, still great. Super smooth, super long lasting, um, super flattering on my blue eyes and complexion. I wear it on its own and I wear it as a base. So when I saw Paradiso, I shouldn't have done them up, should I? Uh, I didn't have pink haze obviously with me. They're slightly different, but they're very similar. Got very, very excited and bought Paradiso. Now it's definitely a, don't need that much wetter formula than the original and you can see um, goes on much lighter you definitely need to pack a bit more on it hasn't got that depth of pink haze but it is very very pretty it's a bit more glittery as well rather than just chromey it's really not showing up brilliantly there um, it is nicer on the eye than that's looking um, I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it today. I put on my makeup at 5.30 a.m. It is now nearly 7.30 in the evening. So that's a pretty good test. Um, my foundation, which is a new foundation I was testing today by NARS, hasn't lasted the day at all. Um, but the eyeshadow has. Now, I don't generally wear these on their own because I've got hooded eyes. I think they look absolutely fine um, if you've got monolids or um, young, fresh, healthy eyes. But I need to put really a bit of a false crease in um, because of my hooded eyes. Uh, but I didn't have time today. I did wear Paradiso on its own and uh, it looks fine. Uh, definitely freshens up the eye. Uh, just showing you the glitter there. Again, not too gritty. Um, quite a warm coppery glitter there. I haven't worn this on the eye. Would have been too much today. I think we're into golden mink territory in terms of a palette for um, something close to that. Yeah, very close indeed. So um, is this golden mink? Yeah, if you've got golden mink, you've got that glitter, good as. Um, but pleased with those. Um, there are three cream blushes. Um, so P Sola Pine, Pina Sole's made a comeback. I did have that and then got rid of it. It's perfectly nice, but it's not right for me. Uh, pink Sand is still around. Um, my all-time favourite cream blush. Uh, we're going to look at it in a minute, I'm afraid, yet again, because the new blush is Paradiso. Here is Paradiso. Um, now, you may say, how is that different from pink sand <laughs> that you've already got? 
Um, I hope even in this crummy light, you can see that Paradiso is appreciably darker and corally. Corallia. Uh, this is, you know, more peachy pink, although there's definitely a bit of coral in both of them. Um, what I love about pink sand and I also love about Paradiso is um, you can just kind of see the slight gold shimmer in the colour, but on the cheeks, it's even more apparent. Um, slightly less apparent in Paradiso than in Pink Sand. Can you see there the kind of gold shimmer? So you almost don't need a separate highlight with these. They are so pretty on the cheeks. This is much more coral and pigmented than... And it's not as if pink sand isn't pigmented, but it's just, well, it looks quite pigmented there. It is just lighter um, on the cheeks. Uh, I generally just pat this on with the fingers. I did need for Paradiso to use a duo fibre. If you um, were more olive complexioned or a woman of colour, I think you could definitely still wear Paradiso and, you know, it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, kind of pat it on with the fingers. Um, this one, Paradiso, it's a really summer colour. It gives you that kind of slightly sunburned look on the cheeks. Um, very, very natural. Really, really pretty. Uh, I've forgotten my bill. I think it's over £50, so horrendous price. But absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has worn off now. We're over 14 hours since application but it was certainly doing well till late in the afternoon and that's over a foundation that was definitely um, going patchy so um, these are good lasts and the other thing I would say although it doesn't look like a huge amount of product five grams again uh, I've had this couple of years I wear it a lot and look you know barely a dent so um, they're super expensive but they do last a long time uh, so I do recommend Paradiso, undoubtedly. Um, I also went for the All Over Body Spray in Soleil Blanc. Um, I don't quite know why, really, although I'm enjoying it, because I don't love the um, summer fragrances all that much. This is a very heady, kind of um, slightly generic summer fragrance I think I mean a lot of you will have tried it a lot of people love it I don't love the perfume but it's um it's pleasanter in a kind of summery ambiance way to me in the all over body spray which is slightly oily so it feels quite moisturizing just on my you know dry shins and forearms which um I've worn it today so I am quite enjoying it um, although I'm not a, overall a huge Soleil Blanc fan, um, it definitely puts me in the summer mood. Um, there are lip balms, quite a few of them in this collection. What else? I uh, can't think of anything else. There's none of the big um, combined cheek and eye palettes that they did for a couple of years and which I loved. Um, so it's a bit of an all over the place collection. I don't really, really love it. But I do rate that um, Paradiso Cream Blush. Uh, if you like Pink Sand, I think you're going to love this too. And I am enjoying the um, the eye duos. Again, the Paradiso, if you missed out on Pink Sand, it's a reasonable substitute. It's not, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty good um, and nice for pale skins. So um, there's my Tom Ford haul and comparison. I hope you could see a little bit of the colour um, on this. I'm still working on trying to use the new iPad, which is a whole lot better because I've got a multitude of new products to talk about. But, you know, what can you do? I just want to get it out there because I'm busy. I'm not around in the day at the moment. So until next time, bye for now.